So assuming that you want to move these question marks that are found in the current uh, unit to the new to the new units where you are supposed to enter them correctly and it's located it's located at two different points one is in the virtual and the other one is in the new digital campus so you want to move these question banks from this one to this one here which is the same thing so what i want to do the question banks have been generated here under 212 and e which is in my usual virtual platform but now i want to transfer it to the platform that is supposed to be used for the exams and it's supposed to come under this unit so what do you need to do you need to open of course where you've created your question bank so in this case i have opened this 212 this is where i've created this question bank because if you go to the next one here which is the new one you'll see that it does not have any questions in the question bank so you will go to quizzes and i uh, Quizzes, let it open. If I go there and look at the question banks, you'll find this is where the exam is supposed to be done. So there is nothing. So what I want to do is move these question banks into here to become the question banks here. So what you need to do is, of course, let me go back home on this uh, new course. So I'll come here on where I've generated my question banks, currently where you're working in then you click on settings and when you click on settings it's gonna open a new window and the new window that will be opened just go over to this left hand right hand side and you'll see here something written export course content this is where you want to be click on export course content and on export course content it will open up a window like this now what you want to do here is click on courses so when you come under export type click on courses do not click on quiz if you click on quiz it's not going to bring in the question back it will only pick the the part you set for the quiz but not the whole question bank so we want everything in the course but we'll only select the question bank so click on quiz once you click on quiz click on create export so it's going to work and if you've had several exports you'll find them being listed here so these ones were done long time ago now where is the new one so once it finishes this blue line will be filled up and you're going to find it here this is our new export and this is what i want so click on it to download and when you click on it to download you'll notice down there or somewhere else you'll be seeing it is going to process and it is downloading it so let it finish the download and then we are ready now to import it so this is how you'll do for export so make sure you let it finish the exporting and after it exports now we'd want to take it to the right uh, location for it all right so there it is it has finished now what i want you to observe is the item that you have exported will be written with its title and you're going to find in addition to it is going to have this small extension at the end of it IMSCC. That is the one you need to be observing because that is what you're going to import. So now we've exported from this unit and now we want to bring it into the new unit that has been created, which is this one here. So what you do as usual, open that unit you want to import the content into. And once you are here, you'll observe with the new window there are a couple of things on this page. But the one I want you to use is here. Come and click here add existing content so click on it once you click on add existing content it's going to open this page where it's saying content type so you need to select so click on this arrow down and when you come here click on canvas export package this is what you want to be clicking now once you click you need to look for the source here so choose the file and choose where it is so when you click on it Remember you downloaded it, so most likely your item is going to be in downloads. So here it is, on downloads here, this is the item that I want. Med Micro 1 bar export with IMSCC, that is what you need to look for. So click on it and tell the, um, the open the, the document. You will see it is going to come here. So the next thing you want to go is come down here to content. When you come to content, click on select specific content. Once you click on specific content, 
the next thing you want to do and let me move this aside the next thing you want to do is just click on import so it's going to work around and look for that document and try to import it and you're going to find um, a line that shows you where the import is going to take so there it is so it is running here telling you i'm expo i'm importing this thing called im's medical micro blah blah that was exported previously and once it finishes it will tell you wait waiting for selection that means it's prompting you please select the content you want to bring into this course so the next thing you do is come here where it is blue and written select content click on click on select content will open up a new window and if you see this window it has everything about that uh, unit it has modules that is trying to import it has quizzes and here it, this is where you're interested in if your quiz is ready then you may also need to import the quiz so to just click drop down the box and click which quiz you want to import okay so assuming i wanted uh, this is the quiz i wanted and on the other end here, if you already finished, you want the question banks. You'll click on this question banks here. There's an arrow. It will open up and will ask you. So you pick which ones you need to uh, import. So I want to import the essays question bank. I want to import the short answer. I want to import the MCQ. So even if you haven't prepared the quiz, you can easily just import the question bank and prepare now the quiz in the new part. So after you finish selecting there, come here and say select and what's going to happen you're going to see the system working and here it is saying queued so it is uh, packaging it and it has already imported and it has said completed so now your document has already been exported from here it has been exported from here and now it has been imported from here so where is it to know where it is remember it was a question bank and some and the other part which i imported was a quiz so you just go to quizzes and when you come to quizzes you click on you'll see already it is telling me this quiz was imported this is what i imported but i want to find if my question bank is there so click on question banks and when you come to question banks you'll find there there is your question bank so that is how you export and then import the question bank into the new uh, into the new uh, area where you're supposed to be administering your exam from.